What's up guys, Cody here, bringing you your weekly Final Fantasy and Square Enix news update. Today is February 1st, 2023. I'm two days late, but there's a little bit of reason behind that. Uh, yesterday, January 31st, was the 26th anniversary for Final Fantasy VII. And I was kind of hoping we would get some kind of big announcement. We do have some stuff to talk about, uh, but nothing as crazy as I had hoped. So let's just go ahead and jump right into everything. So first things first, we have to talk about Forspoken. Uh, the game released last Tuesday. Uh, this is what it's currently sitting at on Metacritic. I know not a lot of people go off these reviews, but some people do. So um, sitting at a 66, and then the user score is a 3.5. Obviously, there has been a little bit of review bombing here. Um, but there's definitely a lot of issues with the game. If you haven't played it, I'm not going to go into any spoilers or anything like that. Um, but obviously, there's a lot of complaints in here. I won't scroll over too many of these because some of these get pretty toxic. Um, but a lot of it has to deal with, uh, the dialogue, the performance of the game, uh, drop in frames, uh, all kinds of stuff like that, as well as the, the gameplay does get quite repetitive. Um, I will say if you guys are playing it and struggling with it, try to play through at least through the end of chapter five, after chapter five, um, the gameplay definitely improves. Um, but again, you're still going to have to deal with the dialogue. You're still going to have to deal with the open world collecting everything you see. Um, it's just another third person open world collectathon video game. So um, if you're not a fan of those, you're probably not going to like the game. But uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, I'm still going to play it. I'm still going to go for the platinum trophy, all that stuff. So, uh, But yeah, that game is out now. Um, and then speaking of upcoming releases, uh, we got a stream for... Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. I guess it's just Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line, technically. Um, and on the stream, they showed off some gameplay, some songs, some characters, all that stuff. And they also announced that a demo is out today. So on February 1st, the demo is live on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. You can play these 30 songs listed here. Click on this just to give you guys a better image of it. Um, and your save data will transfer to the full game. So kind of cool. Just a little surprise demo. The game comes out again on February 16th. Next up in mobile news, guys, uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia Opera Omnia, uh, the fifth anniversary campaign has begun. Uh, the campaign features a free daily multi-draw, free first multi-draws on this month's banner, a free one-time 50 plus one multi-draw, and the return of Crevice and Dare to Defy, and much more. What are you most excited for is what the tweet reads here. As you see here, the, this little promotional image. Again, up to 535 free draws. Um, you're going to get a free multi every day. Uh, if, you, if you're not playing the CD of Final Fantasy and you, you've been considering it, um, now is the time during this 5th anniversary campaign you're going to get a ton of free weapons, tons of characters, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, 5th anniversary is underway. And then next up, of course, like I mentioned at the top of this thing, today is, or yesterday was the 26th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, we see the happy birthday wishes from Dissidia, all the characters that are available from FF7 in that game. It's kind of crazy how many there are. Still missing Anaki though, which is rough. Um, but that's, a, that's another another video for another time. Um, but yeah, we see here 26 years on the launch of the original Final Fantasy VII. We want to say thank you for having our backs and being with us every step of the way. We see like a classic image of Zach carrying Cloud out of Nibelheim, and then the more modern day one. Uh, and they also released some of these like custom track lists. There's these for like eight different characters, I believe. Um, which if you want to check out those playlists, it's basically just songs from the games that are related to those characters. Um, but a, a neat little thing that they did. Um, they also have like this voting thing for you can vote for which iconic one of these four scenes to be remade in, in Legos. We have the water tower scene, the church, Aerith's house, and the honeybee inn. You can go vote for that on this link. Um, and they also like officially registered... Um, Final Fantasy 7 day in Japan uh, for January 31st so I thought that was pretty cool as you see here we have Kitase with the little plaque um, but yeah just some small basic stuff uh, and then going into Final Fantasy 7 merchandise uh, we have new items that are available for pre-order we have the Aerith adorable arts we have the soldier first class Zack obviously they had already done the second class Zack um, Here's the first class version. There's more images of this too. Um, and then they released three new uh, puzzles. 
They released obviously the cloud, like the iconic cover image. They released Tifa on the water tower, and the other one is Aerith, um, kind of like just her her more modern day remake um, image, where there's no high wind in the background, but it's her just kind of like standing there, uh, looking out to the sky. Um, not only that, but they also uh, started taking more pre-orders for this, which I believe is Cloud version two um, from the remake. As you can see here, it comes with all these accessories, all this stuff. Um, but they started taking pre-orders on this as well. If anybody's looking into picking up Cloud. Oh, I guess there is more images of this too. Yeah, and then here's a closer look at the accessories. Obviously, you get a couple different hand molds and then, of course, the Buster Sword. And then next up, as a surprise to a lot of us, um, there is a new Power Wash Simulator update. So the free Midgar special pack is coming soon to all platforms. And click on this as you see you see the hardy daytona in the background you see the truck from the iconic highway chase um and yeah power wash simulator is getting a a special midgar um i guess event dlc i'm not really sure uh, i've only seen this pl game played uh during one of the gdq live streams so i don't know too much about it other than you just power wash things clean um and i know they got the laura croft manor from tomb raider um and they announced of course, on, on the 26th anniversary of Final Fantasy VII, they announced this uh, this Midgar special free DLC pack. So if any of you guys are out there playing Power Wash Simulator, uh, let me know how that is. I don't think I'm going to buy the game just for this, but maybe if it goes on sale, I might check it out. Um, just because I think it'd be cool uh, just to see how they, how they do this, how this works. I guess you're just washing the vehicles, but um, yeah, just a neat little update. Um, so shout out to Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> And then the final thing I just wanted to touch on real quick uh, is this VG247 article um, where they interview Katase. Uh, and they go over a lot of stuff in this interview. Uh, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of throwback stuff that some of you guys might not remember. Uh, they talk about, like, I'll just scroll down briefly and check out some of it. But, like, this one of the original images is, like, Cloud in this almost sort of, like, 3D world. Uh, th this looks very... Very similar to something like Octopath or Triangle Strategy, think games like that. It reminds me a lot of that, but as you can see here, that's clearly Locke from Final Fantasy VI. Uh, they also talked about like the Final Fantasy VI uh, 95 trailer where you saw them in 3D. Um, they talk about how the logo was made, all kinds of stuff. The only thing that he really touched on as far as like remake stuff goes is that there's going to be a story for new and old fans. Um, kind of just being classic Katase, so nothing really too new there, but the interview is very cool. Uh, I'm not going to read through the whole thing there, but I will uh, suggest you guys head over to VG247, I believe it's just Video Games 24-7 is the name of the site, um, and check out that interview, because it, it is neat. It has some, some interesting tidbits about Final Fantasy VII over the years. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Once again, the demo for Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line is out now. If you guys want to go check it out, I'm going to download it. I'm going to check it out. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Forspoken. Are you enjoying the game? Have you put it down for good? Uh, let me know all your thoughts on that. And, uh, yeah, happy 26th anniversary to uh, Final Fantasy VII. It's crazy. We're really getting old out here. But, uh, <laughs> as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, click like. Be sure to subscribe for more. Uh, weekly Final Fantasy content updates, and I will uh, see you guys next time.